Today's show is brought to you by Gamefly.com. Sign up for a premium free 30-day trial. That means one game out specifically for you, the awesome NerdCave viewers. You can go over to GameflyOffer.com slash NerdCave. And you get over 8,000 titles. And what's great about this is you have like so many games that you're like, well, I like this. Is this game for me? This is where you can figure it out. Yeah, like I've saved so much money over the years of saying, I don't know if I trust this game. Let me game fly. Yeah. Or I've already bought three games this month. I need to save some money. Let me game fly this. So that is the way you do it, guys. You get it in the mail. Once you're done with it, you shove it back in the envelope and you send it off and you can get another one. Mm -hmm. So, and you don't have to keep your Gamefly account after the 30 day free trial. You can just cancel it. And if you want to keep doing it, hey, awesome. B bully for you. Bully. Bully for you. That's a Ron Swanson quote right there. So, Robbie, this is the Nerd Cave podcast. This is and brought like, to you by the Nerd Cave. Yeah. You're Robbie Rawls. I am Robbie Rawls. <laughs> and you're Zach Dykes? Yes, okay. I am. Sweet. How's it been going, man? Uh, you know, been going good. Uh, getting deeper into deeper. Uh, my job. Mm -hmm. um, doing some Over loans. at Gamefly. <laughs> I'm just and kidding. Getting, no, over at, at the bank. What's funny is I went to eat yesterday, and uh, this person walked in, and we were sitting, but they were sitting beside us. They were like, do you, you you work at Pen Air? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I work at Pen Air. They're like, okay, I thought that's where I recognized you. And it's it's always inevitable. Like she's like, oh, don't worry, it's on his bill. He works at the bank. He's got money. I'm like just because I deal with money doesn't mean I have money. I promise you. Oh yeah, it does, man. I know. I From now on. on, it's all on your bill. <laughs> You can put it on Pin Air's bill if you want. I don't have their credit card just or yet. Or you could be like that guy that put that ton of money in his account accidentally. Oh, God. With the... Uh, Lord help him. The, the training. Yeah, the Savitar or whatever it is. Savitar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. So but pretty stuff. been a pretty good week. Good. How's good. yours been? It's been interesting. Um, last time we had an episode, you, Derek, took the helm. We drove did. it home. Um I was in Vancouver. Yeah. Been in Vancouver for a whole week. I don't like Florida anymore. <laughs> like, Vancouver was absolutely amazing. It was, you know, when you go into a house and it's got, like, air conditioning and all of that? That's how it feels everywhere. That's how it felt up there. Like, <laughs> it was 70 degrees the whole time, 50% humidity at most, and the breeze was blowing the whole time. I could sweat it a little but it's not like here where you feel like you're just getting like acid thrown <laughs> on you the whole time. Yep, um, it's Florida humidity. So I, I really enjoyed it up there and it was just nice to get away for a whole week. And the city is beautiful. The people are nice up there. Um, and it was just, it was just really fun. Um, they are really um, accepting of like dietary needs and everything, which was really cool. Cause you know, my stomach as crazy it is it is um like they had vegan ice cream like i actually got to eat ice cream for the first time in a very long time <laughs> and what was cool it was like nitroglycerin was like they used that on the ice cream like they had it like like in these big kitchen aid um mixers there yeah. we go uh and they would pour nitroglycerin in it and it would like solidify it and then they put it in they don't use cones because the cones won't hold up to the nitroglycerin but they put it in little cups it was delicious okay. it was absolutely delicious um but i uh, went to a couple comic book stores up there i uh, went to golden age comics in vancouver shout out to them we got a lot of good comics there um really nice guys and i went to eighth dimension comics as well got a few comics there so if you are in vancouver hello thank you for having an awesome city and go check out those comic book stores. rumor is they say a after everything no they don't so it's not true. It, it's like younger people are actually trying to phase out the A, which is sad, which is very I sad. The a. Now, I did meet this man. This man made me so happy. We were going to Dude Chilling Park. That is literally the name of the park okay. is Dude Chilling Park. Um, we we're going and this guy was sitting on a bench talking to another gentleman. And it was the thickest Canadian accent that I've heard in the wild. 
and it made me so happy. Like, I was so unbelievably happy hearing this guy talk. Was there A's in that? There were some A's, but it was just, it was just really thick. thick. And like Nick. No, it was, it was thicker than Nick's accent. Like, it, it, was, it was wonderful. It was delightful. It made me happy. Every time I would hear a Canadian accent, or when they'd say sorry, like, that made me happy inside. <laughs> it made me very happy inside. And so we, we sit, we, we eat a donut. We ate, uh, we had, there was a donut shop close to us. I don't like their donuts. I don't like their donuts. It's better than Dunkin' Donuts. But it's not amazing. Like it's it's a it's a cross between Krispy Kreme, which has you know that that texture to it, and then the cakey donuts. So you have the yeasty donuts and you have the cakey donuts. It's kind of that in between, right there. And they're pretty good, but they're not great. I'm I'm Krispy Kreme all the way for me. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So we're sitting there. We finish that, and we're walking back to the hotel. This guy, this Canadian guy, the guy that makes me happy, he's walking there as well. So. I concoct a story. His name is Maurice. Oh. The most Canadian man ever. He has maple syrup for blood, and he poops poutine. There's Maurice. And Maurice like, in, a, in a nutshell. In a nutshell. Like, he, he <laughs> is he is my hero. He is the hero of Canada. Like, Canadian. Yeah, he is the hero up there. Like, he brought in the maple syrup. Like, he made maple syrup. Like, he opens up his veins and lets maple syrup out into the world. That is Maurice, the most Canadian man ever. You heard it here first, guys. Maurice. Maurice. Like, he, like it's been a running joke for me, of course. <laughs> you know how I am with jokes. Oh, yeah. But, like, I don't know. I was just fascinated by him. Like, <laughs> and what was funny is, like, he, like, people don't jaywalk up there. Like, that was the crazy thing. People do not jaywalk. They're law-abiding citizens there. They are. Plus, you will get ran over. <laughs> but they don't jaywalk. Hmm. But Maurice, you know <laughs> the thing about Maurice? Maurice jaywalks. <laughs> like, he was getting on the corner of a street, and like he saw nothing coming. And he starts going, and he goes into a parking lot, and a van almost hits him, and he just looks at the, the van and just, like, stands him down. I'm like, that is the Canadian way. <laughs> no sorries. None of that crap. Maurice, the most Canadian man ever. So yeah, that that was my my epitome of my trip. Not really getting <laughs> to spend a lot of time with my beautiful wife. That's still strange to say. Oh, I bet it is. It's, it's getting you're getting used to it. It's getting a little bit more normal, but yeah. So that that's it, it was beautiful up there. Like if you ever have the chance, go visit Vancouver. Like it is wonderful. I can't wait to go back. I wish I was there now. <laughs> you know. <sighs> so. You know where you can get this thing early? Patreon. Patreon.com slash NerdCave, guys. You can go over there, support us, throw a few dollars, get this episode and all the other episodes early of the NerdCave podcast each and every week. You'll be you'll be awesome. You'll be one of the cool kids. You're just sitting there and be like, hey, guess what? I heard this thing four days before you ever did. <laughs> you know who else does that? Maurice. Maurice supports us on Patreon. And you can be just like Maurice and be awesome and get it there. Very well. Just a few dollars. Toss them our way. That's patreon.com slash nerdcave. Now, if you don't have the money to toss, that's okay too. I understand that. You can go over to youtube.com slash nerdcave network. Get the podcast day by day, broken up section by section until Friday. where We put the whole thing up there for your viewing pleasure. Now... Sad news. Are we getting into the news? We're, we're fixing to get in the oh. news. Got some housekeeping. Uh, the housekeeping. Housekeeping. After. Housekeeping real quick. Community play date. We're going to have a community play date. I've been saying this for a while. I've been like, yeah, guys, we're going to have a community play date. Every time I, I stream, I got Gary over here. Be like, hey, when is another community play date? I'm like, yeah, I'm working on that, man. That's okay, Gary. I got Jacob. Hey, when's another community play date? I'm like, hey, man, we're going to have one soon. That's been going on for months. It stops here. The buck stops here the maple leaf stops here Robin. we have a date we have a date we have and a, a game time. and a time and a game this wednesday july <laughs> <laughs> july the july. 12th july july <laughs> july the 12th at 7 what is it 7 30 7 30 she's asleep she's nap, nap time i'm sorry what 
Yeah, it's, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> July seven thirty. You put up the little graphic for us. Put a little move to the the yeah that one. We'll, we'll show the story up there. July the twelfth at seven thirty p.m. Central Time. Don't get that confused. Central Time. That's the time zone we're in. We're gonna be doing Jackbox Party Pack three here on the nerd cave. So we live streaming it. You can jump in, play all the games with us. Uh, if the party fills up you'll be in the audience, you'll have a chance to jump in the next game and everything. It's going to be a fun time. Jackpox, Jackpox, Barty, Jackpox, <laughs> Barty <laughs> pack three is really fun. We played it at my bachelor party. Yeah. Uh, it, Super fun! All the games. I, I mean, it's it, all the games are super fun. I love the trivia one. I'm mm -hmm. a trivia person. I love yeah. it. Um, I, I mean, everything in there is gold. Like that, we were laughing the entire day from the Jesus Well Water Park to mm -hmm. Water to Wine Water Park. I mean, you have fun with this. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, and we'll be doing that with you also. Make plans for this coming up Wednesday for the community play date, community night, community game night, whatever I just called it. Whatever, whatever. It's community it game night. We're not doing play dates because that sounds like we're little kids. Yeah. Community game night this Wednesday, July the 12th. It's 12th. <laughs> 12th at 7.30 p.m. Now, on to some sad, sad news. Uh, our first story, Joan Lee passes away. Um... Marvel shares Joan Lee tribute video remembering Stan Lee's wife. Joan Lee, the wife of comic book legend Stan Lee, passed away this past week after suffering from a stroke earlier this week. And today, Marvel Entertainment has shared a video remembering the late actress. Joan had immigrated to the United States following the end of the world, world War II in the mid-40s when she eventually met and married Stan Lee, who had recently returned from his stint in the U.S. Army. After news of her passing spread, people from throughout the entertainment industry expressed their condolences to Stan and his family. Marvel issued an official statement regarding Joan's death, and so did the comics publisher's rival DC Comics. The fact is, many people in the comic book interest industry have worked for several different publishers, including Marvel and DC, and everyone knew the story of how Stan and Joan met. It's some, something that Stan has talked about many times. Um, and the, the interesting thing that comes from this this article and also the video of him talking about it. Um, Stan actually wanted to quit comics mm -hmm. back in the sixties and without Joan being there with him, without Joan supporting him and Joan, you know, just being by his side, he would have quit comics because it was her that pushed him to do it. Yeah. I, I want to say it was Netflix that had like his, um, Documentary, documentary, mm -hmm. and like, he talked about it and everything like that. And you know, without her, we would not be where we are in the comic book yeah, world. Because she said, "Stick with it." And a few months later, Stan Lee made the answer to the Justice League of America, which was the Fantastic Four, mm -hmm. and that started everything. You had Fantastic Four, you've had the Hulk, you've had Spider Man, you've had all of these amazing mm -hmm. things, and it's because. That man's wife, Joan, stuck beside him, supported him, and made the decision to support the love of her life. So our thoughts and prayers go out to the Lee family. Um, it's very hard losing yeah. a loved one, and not only losing a loved one, but someone that you've spent that much time with because they were almost at 70 years of marriage. And that is so crazy to think about. I thought it was really classy of dc because i know i think it's the fans that make it such like um a toxic feud between mm -hmm. dc and marvel but as an industry they get along very well they're super mm -hmm. respective of each other if you know if something happens to dc marvel's usually there yeah and vice versa and dc had a very heartwarming you know shout out to uh to stan and the, and the lee family and I like seeing that kind of camaraderie uh, in that industry. Oh, I do too. And it's just nice to see that it's we can all be human yeah. and support each other. So our thoughts and prayers go out to them. Next story. Here are all the big TV shows attending San Diego Comic-Con. San Diego. 
Whether you're an Arrowverse devotee, a longtime watcher of The Walking Dead, or you like to keep things in the MCU with your television viewing, San Diego Comic Con 2017 has lined up plenty of panels to keep you drip feeding your news and teases while most shows wait for the fall to begin the new seasons. As the eventual as the annual event focuses more and more on the attention on television, it has become increasingly tricky for those in attendance to schedule their time at the convention. Um, so, on Thursday, July 20th, Teen Titans Go! You Unkitty! Justice League Action! Is that even a show? Justice League Action? Interesting. I've never heard of that. Yeah, Must be wow. a new thing. Colony, Van Helsing, Timeless, The Strain, Ghosted... Legion, The Exorcist, Inhumans, American Dad, 12 Monkeys, Rocco Modern Life. There's more, but I'm not going to go to that. Friday, July 21st. The 21st of July. July, as some people would say. Ten days before my birthday. Mm. End of the month, baby. Mm-hmm. I am. The Big Bang Theory. Jesus, why won't it die? Psych. <laughs> so Psych's having a panel. That's cool. I do like that. Young Justice, I Zombie. I'm liking that Young Justice is getting something. Yeah. Fear the Walking Dead, The Walking Dead, Buddy, Thunderstruck, The 100, Game of Thrones, Robot Chicken, Twin Peaks, Mike Tyson's Mysteries, DuckTales, The Gifted Preacher, Bob's Burgers, very good show mm-hmm. if you've not watched it. What are you doing with your life? Outlander, Archer, Marvel, The Defender. Can't wait. That's going to be awesome. Mm-hmm. People of Earth. Hey, hey football Ar- head. Hey, Arnold. Really? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Tells of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They're just running that franchise on the ground. Saturday, July 22nd. Riverdale, The Simpsons, The Originals, Marvel Animation, Krypton, Family Guy, Lucifer. And you can read more of that. And it looks like there's going to be some uh, action with the old boys right here. The old boys. Isn't he dead? There's a glare. Oh, Castillo? I have not finished up the last season. No, I'm not, I have no I, idea. I'm not wanting to... I have no idea. I, now, what's interesting is Game of Thrones is, is on this list. Game of Thrones will start the week before this. Yep. I wonder what they're going to be talking about. Like, I want, like, will it be like, oh, we're going to talk about the new season? Or are they talking about, like, the current running season? That you is... It's, because I can't really talk about the new season because I just could. finished this one. You know yeah, what I mean? I, and you want to give any story stuff away. I think they'll probably just just touch on what's going on in the current and, you know, not give away details, but kind of, you know, gauge their excitement levels for the for season eight. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, the news that's following, the, the rumors maybe that yeah. with season eight. Yeah, we'll uh, get to that here in just a few yeah. But yeah, like I'm interested to see that. Of course, I'm sure we're going to get a lot of Arrowverse talk. We're going to get Arrow. We're going to get Flash. We're going to get Legends of Tomorrow. Supergirl. Supergirl. You know, uh, like CW's bringing you know bringing down the house. They pretty much like I know Marvel has um, that show that I never watched. That's called the the Iron Fist. No, not Iron Fist. Marvel. Uh, Agents of Shield. Agents of Shield. You know that that's their thing yeah. on television. And then they've got, you know, all the defenders are getting Daredevil, are getting a new Jessica Jones, getting a new Luke, Luke Cage, Cage, and we get, you know, Iron Fist and all that. So they've got some stuff to talk about. I'm glad that we're living in the age that we're living in. Oh, yeah. Um, the shows are fantastic. So I'm excited to see what comes out of San Diego Comic Con this year. Uh, it's always interesting, but I think we see, like they talked about in the article, we're seeing that shift from these big movies to the TV shows. And a lot of that is because Disney now owns Marvel and star Wars. And they all do that at Disney 23. Mm -hmm. So that's like one of the big punches right there. Uh, I'm curious to see what DC does with their movies. Like I'm sure we'll see something from justice league because that comes out in November. Um, I'm sure we'll have something dealing with Wonder Woman since it's been such a huge success. Oh, yeah. Um, and I'm hoping that we get something from Batman, the you know, the new movie. Mm-hmm. There's been a lot of information circling around that Matt Reeves 
the director is making it more of a detective story, yeah. more noir, detective-like, which I'm so excited about because we haven't got that before. No, we got it a little bit in uh, the Gotham TV show, mm-hmm. the, the more detective side of it, and seeing that on a full-fledged Batman movie side is just going to be fantastic. Yeah. Allie, will you look up real quick, make sure Matt Reeves is the guy that is directing the new Batman movie? I want to make sure um, that I got it right. I want to say it is Matt Reeves. I think that's what me and Derek were talking about. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I'm excited. Comic-Con is always this big time. Um, he's also, you know, it's also... I'm good? good. Okay, awesome. Fact checked over yeah. there. We're good. So, it, like, Comic Con also sometimes has some gaming in there as well. So, I'm curious to see what gets shown this close after E3. But there's sometimes when it's more like tying into like Marvel or DC, yeah. you see some stuff there. So, uh, moving on, the next crossover between Arrow, The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, and Supergirl will be very different. Good. I like that. I, I like the crossover, don't get me wrong, it's super awesome, but I felt like Supergirl got cheated. Oh yeah, she got the shaft. Like, because it was last five minutes of the episode, hey, we're going to be in a crossover, and I felt like it was very cheated. Uh, Legends, you know, they got their fair share oh, yeah, of definitely. it. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, but I think with them sharing it equally across all four of these uh, great shows, and you know, just some of the stuff that they're... They're getting ready because, you know, it's still in the, the planning process of the mm-hmm. big crossover. You know, we saw um, with the alien invasion, they were, I can never remember what they were called. The Dominators. The Dominators. Mm-hmm. I mean, we loved it. It was great, you know. But I want to see where they take it from there. Yeah. Yeah. And it's hard to go bigger than aliens. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hard to go bigger than aliens. Technically, the first crossover was between Arrow and Flash, Flash. When they were kind of subtly subtly launching flash flash is the best one in my opinion i like it the best one in my opinion for the next crossover you show didn't, you didn't finish arrow did you i have not finished arrow yet that might change okay just to let you know <laughs> okay okay for the next crossover showrunner mark gunheim is teasing i'm gonna call him gug gug okay gug it's teasing that the stakes might be smaller in scope, but the outcome will still have important developments in its aftermath. If we end up doing what we're talking about doing, it's going to be pretty cool. The crossover is always the most challenging thing we do, but it's also the most fun. Every year we feel the pressure to top ourselves. I feel like each crossover has topped the previous one. Topping last year's, that's a high bar. If for no other reason, than what do you do that's bigger than aliens? <laughs> yeah. We've got some very, very in- exciting ideas very early on in the process of doing last year's crossover. Greg Berlanti said, there's probably no way to get bigger than aliens. So the best way to make the next crossover, especially epic, is if you can't increase the bombast, increase the emotional stakes and the emotional payoffs. So there's a very oblique comment on where our heads are about the next season. Um, I'm excited. Like seeing more. Like yeah, aliens were cool. Like, but actually tying all of these shows, these oh, yeah. four shows together, and making it something where, like, the duet episode of Flash had more emotional stake than the full crossover, where it was. You know, you haven't watched the duet episode, have you? The singing. Yeah, the singing. Yeah, the musical. Yeah, it yeah. had more emotional stake. Yeah. Than the whole crossover with you know the Dominator crossover, definitely. So I I like to see what they're going to do. I'm wondering what it might be. I did love that episode, by the way. I did too. I got talked to Jake. having John Barrowman sing. Jake hated that episode. I was like, dude, that's that was freaking awesome. And like having freaking um, Cisco, like, well, all the people, on all of them show. are good. All of them are good. You could. You can tell old man, old man Jenkins. <laughs> it, it, he's a little older. His voice is a little, you know, a little, a little tired. Tiny. Yeah, yeah. It's like, uh, but you know, Joe was good. Jo- yeah. Iris, did she sing? I don't remember if she sang. Some, a little bit. 
I don't remember. I don't remember. But yeah, it was all good. I enjoyed it. I did too. But that had more emotional stake than the Dominators. I, I think what they're talking about, like, I'm not going to go into detail, obviously, because you haven't seen it, but the emotional finale of Arrow will probably tie in to this episode, the crossover, hmm. um, because big things happen. Obviously, it's a finale, so big things are going to yeah. happen. But, I mean, it was big. Uh, so I think they're going to take a lot from that and probably kind of tie it into the crossover episode. I like that. I can't wait. I, w- I do it, want to finish Arrow very soon. It was it's, so good. It's something I definitely want to do. Yeah. You know what else I definitely want to do? I want to save some people some money. How are we going to do that? We're going to do that. For you, the listeners of the Nerd Cave, Loot Crate is offering you an opportunity to save 10% on any new subscription to LootCrate.com. Enter promo code BRIDGE10. That's B-R-I-D-G-E-10, one word, all together, and like one zero, not T-E-N, for 10% savings. If you don't know, if you've been under a rock... If you've been hiding under that rock, you're like that spider that's like waiting for prey, but no prey has come by and you're starving. You're just starving there. Loot Crate is a monthly mystery crate that delivers the best in geek and gaming gear. From collectibles, apparel, text gadget, art, and other epic gear, it's like Comic-Con in a box. Loot Crate is a monthly subscription box for epic geek and gamer items and pop culture gear. For less than $20 a month, you can get six to eight items that include licensed gear, apparel, collectibles, unique, one-of-a-kind items, and more. You have until the 19th at 9 p.m. Pacific to subscribe and receive the month's crate. When the cutoff happens, that's it. It's over. You're done. You're lost. You get next month. You're you're under you're under that rock. You're like, oh god, <laughs> it's past nine p.m. Pacific time. I'm so hungry. Why didn't I subscribe to the loot crate? Why? Why? And then you slowly smother yourself under that rock. But until that next month rolls around. Until that next month around. <laughs> but we're trying to save you from that dark, dark, desolate place. Rock hole place. Now we both have used loot crate yes. in the past. I love Loot Crate. I do too. Uh, It's been something that I want to get back into because, you know, I collect pop figures and Mm -hmm. they'll have, you know. They'll have exclusive pops. Yeah. Uh, They've had great t-shirts. Like I have the the Power Ranger t-shirt that has the green and the white Ranger on it. Uh, It just has some really great, like, if you're a collector, I mean, you're going to like this. It's going to be everything from movies to games. Mm Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's worth... And you get a t-shirt every month yeah. in your size. That is... I, the box is worth that because if you go in a Hot Topic, if you're going in that place, everybody's got, like, their hair dyed colors, you know, and it sometimes it's a little scary. I like going in there because of the shirts. That's the oh, whole yeah. reason I ever go in there. And you go in, you see all these cool shirts, like, oh, I wish I could have that. How much is it? It's at least twenty dollars. Yeah, you know, so, it's at least twenty dollars. So you're saving ten percent here. And you're getting, and you're getting not just a t-shirt. You're getting all this goodies, other stuff, and you get an exclusive pin each month. I like the pins. I'm a little weird. I like. I, I want to get uh, like a bag type thing because I have a bunch of pins laying around the house. Just like a like a Ziploc bag for your pins. <laughs> I'm talking about like a bag to wear to like cons and stuff. When we yeah, have. yeah. By supporting Loot Crate, you're going to be supporting the Nerd Cave. Yep. And we, we want your support. So go over to trylootcrate.com slash nerdcave and enter code BRIDGE10 to save 10% on any new subscription. So that is, again, www.trylootcrate.com slash nerdcave and enter your code BRIDGE10 to save 10% on any new subscription. So there you go. I, I want to do it. I want to I'm not gonna. I won't. It won't be a new subscription for me. But I want to bring it back. I do. I want to bring it back. You know what else is coming back? Sexy. Sexy. And we're bringing it. Yeah, we've we've been here the whole time. So we've already <laughs> brought, we've already brought it. Game of Thrones season eight is coming later. Season yeah, seven. Seven. We got to get seven, to seven first. Seven's coming. Winter is coming. It's coming. <laughs> we had to make that joke. We did. We had. It was in our contract. <laughs> What, what is, you see it in the title right there, movie length episodes. Okay, I'll, I they, every episode from like, season one, 
all the way to till now, I've wanted long epi- longer episodes. You're always yeah. wanting more after like, the episode. Like Sherlock. Sherlock length episode. Yeah, yeah. 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 I love Sherlock. I do too. And this is what we're getting. Yeah, we're getting it. Po- uh, this is po- possibly. Po- this is it's not confirmed. Now, if they're showing them at 11 at night. It's going to suck. It's going to suck. I'm going to suck hobo toe. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still exciting at the same time. Yes, it is. Because it's something that is going to flash out things. Like, we got so many episodes in the beginning of this show. Like, this year we're getting fewer episodes. But I could have dealt with longer. fewer episodes, longer episodes, and been much happier. Because they would have cut out all the fat. Cutting out all that fat. Oh, yeah. The unhealthy fats. Those trans fats that we got there. I don't want to see Littlefinger looking at somebody doing the dirty in his brothel. I don't want to see that. So we're cutting that out now. Season 8. The news that the final two seasons of the Game of Thrones will each contain fewer than 10 episodes as many Game of Thrones fans bummed. But there's a chance that these shortened seasons will be jam-packed. Jam-packed. You've been jammed. Oh, Lord. With more content than any other, according to Game of Thrones sound designer Paula Fairfield. Paula Fairfield, friend of the show, if you didn't know. <laughs> oh, Paula. I call her up. Hey, how's the sound? She's like, it sounds like garbage. <laughs> Turn off your AC. <laughs> and it's hot in here. But anyway, at the panel during Con of Thrones 2017... Oh, you know that's a nerd fest all day long. <laughs> I wish I was there. Same here. <laughs> Fairfield revealed that the production team is considering making every episode of season eight movie length. Fairfield also confirmed that season seven finale will be 82 minutes long. Hmm. Season seven of Game of Thrones premieres July 16th. So if the final episode is 82 minutes, that's over... That's like 22 minutes over an hour, an mm-hmm. hour and 22. That's kind of like a movie. Yeah. That's a shorter movie in these day and age. Like most yeah. of our movies are like two hours these days. So do you think, where do you think is that good spot that they would find for each episode? I mean. For season eight. I, an hour 30 would be okay with me because you're not, your, your episodes are already an hour. Mm. You're just adding 30 more minutes to flesh out whatever you need to flesh out because we have felt gypped at times when we wish that they would have went further into detail here, yeah, uh, here and there. Uh, so this would give them the chance to do it. And I feel like 30 minutes isn't too short or too long. It's, I mean, it's right there in between an hour. Yeah. So I, I feel like that would be a good time frame yeah. to keep it within. Like where's Cold Hands? Where's Arya's Dire Wolf? Where's freaking, uh, what is the... What's their mom's name? Uh, um, I just watched that. If you went in the past, um, Allie, what's the mom's name? Whose mom? Like the Stark's mom's name. Free. She, like, she died. Yeah. Yeah, but what's her name? Oh, she's um. I have to look it up. I can't remember. That lady, she comes back from she's the dead. Supposed to be. Like, yeah, she comes back from the dead in the books. And then she's like the lady of the lake or something like that. I know that's Arthur, but... Is it... That's her... Caitlin Stark? Yes. Catelyn. Cat, yeah, just Caitlyn, but she's called Cat. Yeah. Um, she comes back in the books. Oh, uh-huh. And everything. So, you know, do we get that? Yeah, I Because know. the guy that brings her back is in the previews. Um, so I'm curious to see what they bring in. This season, the coming up season, season seven... Whew. It's gonna be amazing. Will winter be here? Winter has already come. Like you see it in the in the in the previews. Like you know, I I wonder. Like I've been I've been reading not anything with plots or anything like mm-hmm. that, but just some theories. You know, what if there's like an ice dragon? Because you know, I know I was reading that, but that he might be in the wall or something like that. <laughs> And then the Night King, King gets, gets him out. That. Yeah, I was I was reading that. Oh. And I was like, that would be because they have mentioned ice dragons in the yeah. show. Like I think it's three times. Yeah, in six seasons, but I would, it would be so epic to have Khaleesi's dragons fighting the ice dragon because the ice dragons are massive. Bigger, yeah, they're okay. bigger than the regular dragons and everything. That would be awesome. Like, uh, I, I would be excited. I'm curious to see. 
because John is definitely going to be focused on fighting the White Walkers. Mm-hmm. Like that's he's going to be trying to get everybody to focus on that. Unfortunately, Khaleesi is it's going to be focused on the, the Seven Lannisters. Kingdoms. Yeah, she's focused on getting that Iron Throne. And it's going to be like we've seen in the past where like she's had that vision of her walking through the like destroyed keep with snow coming down. The only reason that's happened, winter's still there. The White Walkers have won, and she's made the wrong choice to focus on the Seven Kingdoms instead of humanity. It's time to come together right now. Yeah. Under John. Under Johns. Under Johns. <laughs> under but, Johns. Like, they got your Under Johns on. The Lannister army is massive and well trained. Yep. So is the Unsullied and all the yeah. the Dothraki. <laughs> but you know. No Jason Momoa here. No. What if Jason Momoa comes back as Aquaman in Game of Thrones? He's no. a water dragon. Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna happen, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's but, like the sun set the other side, <laughs> suckers. But I mean, John's gonna have a time trying to get oh, the yeah. Lannisters and Khaleesi's armies to work together. Yeah. So I'm I'm excited to kind of see how this comes to play because you still have obviously John's army, you know. I guess he still has the Knights of the Veil on his side. As just as long as Littlefinger wants to get into Sansa's yeah. pants. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. As long as he wants to be a pedophile. Exactly. It's, it's, you I know. hate Littlefinger. God, I wish he'd I die. Everyone does, because he's just the scum of the earth. He's disgusting. Do you hate Littlefinger more than you hated Joffrey? I don't think anybody can hate You can't hate anybody more than Joffrey. But <laughs> now, Joffrey or Ramsay, which one did you hate more? Which one was Ramsay? He was the bastard... Of the Boltons. He's the one that was kind of like the king in the north. For a short... Oh, right. Yes, yes, yes. Short yes. brief period. Yeah. yeah. I think I hate... Well, he wasn't the king of the north. He was the warden of the north. Yeah. We'll yeah. I think it's still Joffrey. Yeah, Joffrey right? was still bad. I did hate Ramsay. Oh, I hated Ramsay. And now Ramsay is going to be in Inhumans. He's the traitorous brother of Black Bolt. <laughs> so, you know, he's he's playing that tight role. <laughs> I still remember... Yeah. The funniest thing I've ever seen with Ramsey was the the Coldplay Game of Thrones music. Oh, that was to. hilarious. And like you see they're they're looking at each other and they're like, hey, and they hug. <laughs> <laughs> like you didn't see it coming. <laughs> but I mean I, I I hated him, but it was always Joffrey, Cersei, and then everybody else had their place. Yeah, like I'm ready to see the mountain like destroy people. He looks like freaking Darth Vader now with his new helmet. I'm just like, yes. <laughs> like, the mountain is... He's a zombie, technically. Yeah, he is a zombie. So, like, he's almost like Darth Vader. He's got the same helmet. It's a darker armor. Like, he's going to be a beast. He is going to be a beast. I mean, he's already a beast. Like, he crushed that one guy's head. <laughs> and walked away. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, you killed my my, my sister. Blah, blah, blah. And he's like, ah! That moment... Like I wanted the 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 red whatever the, the, the viper the viper of uh, vipers to kill him, but after that I was like okay mountain he died technically he did kill him he did accomplish his goal in the end but he didn't want to stay down no he didn't want to stay the down. creepy maester but not maester guy yeah the black maester brought him back to life yeah you know what else has been brought back to life I'm one of the bandicoot. That was, the, the, that was a heck of a segue. I know. <laughs> that was a segue. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot Trilogy is the best-selling PS4 game at launch in 2017. By Curious Visions, Crash Band- Bandicoot Insane Trilogy has debuted in first place on the UK all-format chart, becoming the biggest single-format release of 2017 so far. Crash Bandicoot PS4 sales are impressive. The collection, which is available exclusively on the PlayStation 4, and all the people are like, I wonder if Crash Bandicoot's going to come to the Xbox. No. Just like Cuphead, as we already knew that Cuphead was going to freaking stay on the Xbox, why is that even a news article? Why did people even think that? They're staying on their things. They're Most staying the on time, course. If they say something's going to be something, it is 
that something. Now, so. it has only came come into second place because of Ghost Recon Wildlands launch. Uh, is the best so far this year. In fact, the game was so successful upon launch that even it even managed to beat fellow PS4 exclusive Horizon Zero Dawn, which launched to great success in UK back in March. Interestingly, this is the first time that the one-time PlayStation mascot has bagged himself a UK number one title, despite having been on the scene for 21 years. Now, below are the top 10 sellers. We have Crash Trilogy. We have two Micro Machines. Number three is GTA V, Verizon, Verizon, Forza Horizon. I was trying to put it together. Forza Horizon 3, FIFA 17, Overwatch, Elite Dangerous, Mario Kart 8, Deluxe, Dirt 4, and Rocket League. I've been playing the, Rocket League hard lately. I yeah, love it. Are the top tenors of the charts. So that's impressive. Now, I've watched gameplay on Crash Bandicoot because I loved the game growing up and like I'm hearing a lot of people are like this it is game hard. is so hard. Well, it's <laughs> and, an old school platformer. Yeah, and old like, school platformers are hard. hard. Yeah, like people are expecting oh this to be a, a breeze. You know, just just oh la di da and we're over here doing this thing. There ain't no la ti da's about that. No la ti da's. Plus, well, because like old school games actually had to focus on like having difficult like gameplay to make their games interesting, other because, than like good graphics and stuff. Yep. Yep. No graphics saving here. The graphics are great. Oh, sure. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But the gameplay is king here. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So you better get good. You better get good fast. Get good. Get, get good, good, son. I'm saying all of this is like. In the next few weeks, I'll probably stream crash and just suck because I'm not good at platforms. <laughs> I'm a, comments going, get good. <laughs> you know, I, I've I've sown my seed now. I've sown okay. my seed. Now, this is the final segment of the show, and usually we we talk more about video games, we answer questions and all of that, but we're doing some change up. You know, this whole episode's been different. We've only done like a few articles. Everything's different. Everything's changed. Winter is here. It's actually summer, but winter is here. So you don't feel like it. I wish it was, too. So, the fourth segment is going to be a rotating segment on the Nerd Cave podcast. So, each week it's going to focus on different things. We have four segments that could replace the fourth, be in the fourth segment. Just follow me. You got, it. You got me here. Four topics can fill the fourth segment. Yes. You know, it's like the 36 Chambers of Death in the Wu-Tang Clan. Because they're bringing the ruckus. Yeah. The Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing to... You know yeah. what I'm going with. But, you know, we don't want things to get stagnant around here, so we usually try to change things up. And, uh, you know, this is a great way to do it. Like you said, we have four se topic segments that we talk about that replaces the fourth segment. So yeah. just to clarify... Yes. So every Thursday there will be one of these topics. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and how it's going to work is, uh, I'll go ahead and I'll I'll say the topics, then we can go a little bit further. So the first topic, this will be the first week of each month, is going to be shout out to Netflix. That's the the first topic. So first Thursday of each month will be shout out to Netflix. That will be all Netflix movie kind of stuff. Yes. Uh, and we'll and get, possibly other streaming devices yeah. like Hulu or, or Crunchyroll yeah. and stuff like so, that. That's going to be kind of where that is. The second week, which are in the second week right now, people will be seeing this in the third week. But you know, we're we're doing it on our own terms. Yeah, on our own terms. Second week is going to be time for comics. Okay, blowing the dust off. We're bringing it back. It's in a different form. It used to be a podcast that me and Derek did. And me and Derek and Nick did. So it is time to bring it back to raise it out of the ashes. You spoke in the survey, so we're bringing it back. The next week is our book club called We Read Question <laughs> Mark. <laughs> That's a, a pun on something in college because at Troy they'd be like, We read. Like everywhere. It'd be everywhere. We read. I'm like, Thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad you can. <laughs> and then our fourth segment to round out the month is going to be our animation superstation. Or if we watch anime, it's going to be called Weeaboo Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Animation stu Superstation, but like for anime specific things, and it's like Animation Superstation colon. We'll be watch. watch. Yeah. So those are our four segments. Um, the four segments of death. The four chambers. The four horsemen of yeah. segments. 
Yeah, like the wrestling group, the Four Horsemen, and you can do this. So, each segment, we're going to start out the month. It'll be, you know, Netflix. We'll talk about, hey, we're watching this comedy series or we're watching this. And you have a month to watch it. You have a month to do it, to take care of it. Yep. So, it's not like next week we're talking about it. When you're like, oh, I don't have any time next week. I'm all busy. I want to be involved in this conversation, but I don't have the time. I don't have the time, Robbie. And I'm just like, it's okay, man. It's you got okay. A, you got a month. You got a month now. You got a month. And then comics, you know, like, ah, I got to find this comic. Comicsology, good place. If you want the, you know, if you want to do the whole hardback and all that, that's cool too. You'll have a month to read it. And we're going to do volumes. We're going to do like trade paperbacks, that kind of deal. We're not going to do like a single issue. We're going to do like a story arc yeah. of comics. Uh, book club, that's when you got to do some reading. Yeah. <laughs> you got a month to read a book. All right. That's going to take some some dedication to it. But it's going to be stuff that we feel that you, you should read. It's going to, you know, it's going to be nerdy. Sometimes it might better your life. It's going to be fun, though. And I mean, it could literally be anything from our plethora of Star Wars books. Mm-hmm. Uh, even might bring off some, you know, Aragon great mm-hmm. books. Uh, we have the Percy Jackson books, and countless other, you know, Harry Potter, Game of Thrones. I mean, I could yeah. go on and on. Gears of, like I said, I, I, I'm stopping, but we yeah. could go on. There's a ton of books that we can choose from. So that'll be we read, and then the animation superstation. And Weeaboo Watch at times is going to be a mix of anime shows, which will you know do like a an, a story arc or something like that. We'll say from this episode to this episode, so we're not kind of like making you binge watch. Yeah, making you binge watch a whole season. Um, and it will it could also be where we watch an animated movie like a Justice League, Justice League or something like that. So that's how that's all going to be kind of done. Yeah. Okay. So this is. The second week to us. Mm -hmm. The second week to us. It's going to be the third week. Dang it. I didn't think of this. Like when they hear this, it's going to be the third week. It is. So we do the book club. We can Uh, do the book club today? Okay. What what book would you like to read? Okay. Book club. We're going to do the book club. All right. Um, For this month, the book for the book club. Huh. I'm going to do that one. We're going to do Thrawn, the new Star Wars book, Thrawn. Okay. I've talked a lot about it in the past. We, of course, are sponsored by Audible as well. So if you want to get a free audio book, you definitely can. You can see that all, all over the place. Yeah, be sure, like, you know, if you don't want to go out and get a copy of this book, be sure to, like, if you don't have audio, um, Audible right now, take advantage of our free book we're giving yeah. you. Yeah, it's... I'm, I'm not trying to push that, but audibletrial.com slash nerdcave. You can get it for free for this month. But our, our book of the month is going to be Thrawn. Mm-hmm. So we're going to read it on the third week of August. We'll we're going to about talk it. about Thrawn on the podcast in the fourth segment. So next week, we're going to assign the anime of the month and whatever, or animation of the month, and we'll talk about that and everything. So it's just a way for us to... Do something different, get everybody involved in everything, and we will be asking for your input on this section. We want to know, do you like this section? What's the suggestion for a comic book? What's the suggestion for something on Netflix? Uh, we're doing documentaries this month. What documentaries do you really like that are on here? You know, Different things like yeah. that. So we're trying something different here to get more people involved and to kind of shed light on different things because we talk a lot about superhero movies we talk a lot about you games. Know, games and all of that but this is a way for us to interact a little bit differently with everybody what we're trying to do is we're trying to incorporate everybody's love like i know uh this will actually be good for me and zach because uh yeah we watch anime you know Ish. sparingly but this gives us homework it's like you know i mean our, the extent of ours is you know dragon ball z gundam we watched uh Roroni, kenshin yu yu haka show uh we watched attack, attack on, on titan, titan season one uh, <laughs> season one but like i would love to get into the you know these other shows you know bleach uh you know Ale- no bleach is bad i've never seen it but i know things about it and also it's like super super long full metal alchemist brotherhood yeah i, I mean there's a lot of shows that I see. Um, there was one about what was it? 
It was the thing with the thing. <laughs> man, I had it in my head, and it okay. just. I'm gonna list them off. One Punch Man. No, it's no. like. Seven the... Deadly Sins. <laughs> Allie, you're amazing. <laughs> my friend actually did a Seven Deadly Sins cosplay group down at MegaCon in Orlando. Nice. Okay. But yeah, like I said, this will be good homework for me and Zach. Mm-hmm. We're able to branch out and watch some anime that we haven't seen. Plus, you know, you know, some of you may love anime, but me and Zach, we know a lot about the animated movie side of things yep. with um, all of the the superhero ones. Like I watched the Judas Contract, the Justice League one, mm-hmm. Justice League versus Teen Titans. You got ton of of Batman, um, Phantasm. You know, Phantasm. Phantasm. Yeah, there we go. Phasma. What am I doing? But, uh, like, and, you know, this, you know, get you guys to be like, oh, wow, this was really good. Yeah. And the same with us. We might love an anime that you guys um, have never watched. Yeah. So, you know, it's it's all like us trying to get together, you know, share our love for things and everything. So if you have a suggestion for something that, hey, you really need to check out these things, drop us. Into the comments. Section. Drop us into the co- drop. Drop it, it into the comments drop section. Your comment. Drop your comment in the comments section below and let us know what you think down below in that thing. So, at a month from now, as you're watching this, we're gonna be talking about Thrawn. Yes. Thrawn. Okay. Don't get that confused with Heir to the Empire or Outbound Flight. I'm talking about Thrawn. Just Thrawn. Thrawn. It is literally called Thrawn. He's got his blue face on there. Red eyes. Red eyes. He doesn't look like he's like. He's, he's not a zombie. <laughs> Go read it. It is going to be awesome. I guarantee it. I'm like the guy at Men's Warehouse. You'll like the way you read. I guarantee it. <laughs> like, I don't like the way I read. That's why I have people read to me these days. <laughs> so, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let us know what you thought about the episode in the comments below. Go ahead and rate us. Like, it really means a lot when people rate us. The more people that rate the podcast on iTunes. Like, if you watch on YouTube, take a minute. Go over to iTunes. Rate us. Give us that five star. If you think it sucked, still give us that five star. <laughs> but rate us because it helps with rankings and everything. It does. Uh, because the more the higher we're rated, the more we get out. If you like it, it do, it t- literally takes a second. To, uh, hit a like button and hit a share button. Mm-hmm. Because you, we, I know you have friends that might be interested in the stuff that we do, but hey, we can't reach them without you. Yeah. So be sure to hit the like button, subscribe. I mean, obviously, you, why wouldn't you not subscribe? But also hit the share button because that share button is that extra. Extra mile that you mm. can take that's going to help us out a lot. Definitely. Word of mouth is is awesome. Yes, And is. all the help that you give us is amazing as well. Just like the people that went over to patreon.com slash nerdcave, tossed us a few dollars, helped us out this month. Thank you to our Patreon producer, Caleb Palmer. I appreciate y'all. appreciate Nick being our shout-out guest. Thank you, Nick, for doing that for we us. love y'all. It Patreon helps us a ton. If you if you don't have money, share. Like really share and share the product because it, we put a lot of time into this and put a lot of effort into making this episode. Like mm. this is the most I've put into an episode in quite some time. <laughs> and I have to give a shout out to Derek Daniel for putting all together the stories that we talked about today. Look at him go. I know. He's awesome because he usually puts like he has all the questions. I was like, Hey Derek. Let's not, not not beat around the bush anymore. I'm going to have you make up all the stories. So I'm sure he, he's got a lot of aliases on here. Like Michael Herodence. That's, that's, Derek, that's Daniel. Derek Daniel. Like, yeah, we know it. <laughs> that's his pen name. One of his many, 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 many pen names. But thank you, Derek, for doing that for us. Uh, again, guys, make sure that you like, share, subscribe, all of this. And we'll be doing the game night, which is going to be Wednesday, Wednesday. 7.30. So make sure that you check that out. Hang out with us. We'll be playing and have a lot of fun. That will be live streamed as well over on twitch.tv slash Network, over on YouTube, on the gaming channel, and on Facebook Live. So uh, go check us out. Have some fun. Um, I really enjoy all yeah. of this. Thank you, Robbie. Yeah. Did you have fun? I did. I enjoyed it. I'm enjoy- going to enjoy the new section segments too. And everything. Too. So, I like it. So we got shout out to Netflix that finally gets its own little, little thing. Yeah. Time for comics book club, which is called We Read, and Animation Superstation. <laughs> I'm a, isn't I'm, that I'm, isn't that like I'm proud of that. <laughs> 
Like I'm, I'm well, well, I'll say it off air. Guys, thank you. Thank you, Allie, for doing the control board. Thank you for taking your time, being awesome, spending it with us, because your attention matters, and we really, really appreciate it. This has been Zach. And Robbie. Have a week. If you enjoyed that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want gaming content, you can go over to Nerd Cave Gaming right there. If you want to support us, you can check out Patreon right there. If you want more videos, check them out right here. Go ahead, pick one of them. I wonder which one you're going to do. You're going to be cool. You pick any of them, all four of them. You'd be awesome.